Let's look today at dbcc shrink file, which is a command that is available to us. Now, this is something that in part two we're going to be looking at. We'll actually be doing a few exercises. Uh, but in this part, what we're going to be looking at is just kind of some of the, the warnings about this, because even though we can shrink a file, it does not mean that we should be doing this. So I would approach this very carefully. I put here, uh, first of all, do not shrink data files, except in exceptional cases. And the reason is because it can increase fragmentation out the wazoo. So if you do shrink a data file, uh, prepare for fragmentation. Uh, in fact, uh, the only time that I would really consider uh, shrinking a data file would be if, let's say, you know, half of the tables were dropped in the database and they weren't going to be recreated ever. We figured out we didn't need them anymore. Um, and we were outside of the, or we were inside of the maintenance window. So we drop all the tables. I would go ahead and shrink and then rebuild index, re-update uh, re statistics, right? So, but that would be in very exceptional cases. And I'm not going to be doing that during uh, business hours or during uh, times where people are accessing. For logs, shrink file can be an indication that the growth settings, in fact, they usually are, that the growth settings are incorrect. Uh, if it's a one-time or it's a rare event, that's fine. If you're doing this multiple times a week or a month, you need to adjust the, the log growth settings. And what I mean by adjust the log growth settings is, for me, the best practice on a log is to have it fixed size. It cannot grow, and it needs to be grown out to as much as it's going to be used. Okay, And then, of course, regular like log checkpoints, etc., Okay, whether it's uh, full recovery or whether it's, it's simple recovery, that is by far the best practice that will cause the least amount of headaches. If your log can grow as big as it can, um, that, that could really become a disaster quickly. A great example of this is in both ETL and replication environments. I, we, we run into this issue a lot where people will set the, the log to, to whatever growth and replication will get suspended because of active transaction or ETL will get suspended because of active transaction and uh, there's no more space for it to grow and that's a great example of if you're going to have let's say an ETL environment specifically where you're doing the extract or even the load you want to have those logs configured to where they can handle whatever the biggest load is another example of that as well is if uh, if your your log settings if you're using settings, I mean to truncate or delete or drop, right? So those don't have the same effects across the board on the log. A delete is incredibly expensive for a log. And if you don't believe me, delete, take a table, create a table with 1,000 records, delete it, and then uh, check out your log and uh, run that the log function. And you'll see all kinds of records, right? Whereas do a truncate and then look at the log. It's, there's a lot less, right? I've also seen in my career a strong correlation between log micromanagement, as I call it, and integrity check failures. So uh, integrity check failures, I have never had one come up in an environment in which I had a fixed log that did not grow at all and that we forced batches and everything never had a failure on integrity checks. Uh, integrity checks failures have always come in environments that engage in log micromanagement. So that does not mean that that's a guarantee, but it just it's the correlation that I've noticed. Uh, if shrinking, do so at the end of a release of space. So this is key, such as tables being removed, data being wiped, etc. Same thing with a log. You, if if the uh, if the current uh, VLF is at the very end, you're not going to be able to shrink the available space anyway with a truncate only, right? Because that's going to be at the end. So uh, keep that in mind. And then of course, consider the time of your environment. Obviously, doing a shrink file is not going to be an immediate operation and it can cause blocking it can cause a lot of issues so be careful about doing that especially in production be careful about doing that when everyone's accessing the database